we need to talk about Anthony Edwards. Anthony Edwards is truly one of the premier talents in the NBA this season. But we need to have a conversation about just how good Anthony Edwards can get. This isn't a Timberwolves preview because the Timberwolves are us and I do not care about the Minnesota Timberwolves. I just well, let's be nice. Yeah. Let's be nice. We don't have to go there. <laughs> I mean, you're not wrong, but you didn't have to say it. I mean, good Lord. I just need you to recognize I do not care about the Minnesota Timberwolves. But Anthony Edwards is too good for me to ignore. There's a lot of talk these days about aura and Anthony Edwards has this aura that makes him one of the best players in the NBA and he's gonna make that jump because of his aura. Obviously he wears number five, which I didn't realize fits his logo. So like he's been planning this number change, it's crazy to me. But yeah, last season he averaged 25, six and five, I think on pretty decent efficiency. I think this season he takes a further jump. I think he's a 30 points per game scorer. I think he will score 30 points per game. I feel like he's shown he can take over like he did in the in the FIBA World Cup. He's shown he can take control of a team and say, yo, I'm the best player. I think the problem the Minnesota Timberwolves have had is they obviously gave the keys to Cat a while ago and they're reluctant to take them back and give them to Anthony Edwards. But I feel like now Anthony Edwards is in the position where he will go, this is my team, Carl. You know when your name's Carl, you must be like slyly wet. So this is my team, Carl. I'm taking over and there's nothing you can do about it. So I feel like he can dominate on that front and make a case maybe even MVP in that sense. If we see a jump, ridiculous jump. One, I don't want him to win MIP. If he wins MIP, that, that award is ruined and it's stupid because he was number one overall pick. Number one overall pick should never be winning the most approved player. But he can, I think he can make an MVP level jump. So, so when we look at the Minnesota Timberwolves, their main problem has been the fact, you know, they've got Carl Anthony Towns and Rudy Gobert those two can't really work and obviously this isn't to talk about the Timberwolves I don't really care too tough like I've said several times but to be an MVP level player you have to win games and if the Timberwolves aren't winning games the Timberwolves aren't at least the sixth seed it's going to be hard to mount a case for MVP for Anthony Edwards and, but I think he is capable of an all defensive team jump and an all NBA jump and if he's able to do both and if the Timberwolves win He's gonna be an MVP candidate. For me, I think Anthony Edwards needs, you need to take a look at Anthony Edwards and if his team can get better, I don't think they have got better. I think the only way the Timberwolves have gotten better is through Anthony Edwards getting better. But I feel like it's time for him to take a jump. New shoes as well. I will be wearing those shoes, watch. And Anta Kyrie's, where are the Anta Kyrie's? I swear to Ross. Generally, I can't wait for the NBA season to start. Just a couple days left. This is being recorded on a Sunday. Right now, the Commanders are losing to the Giants and it's hurting my head. But when the NBA season starts, you'll see me week in, week out following. I will... And now I'm not watching any Timberwolves games. I watch Anthony Edwards highlights. You know, they give that on League Pass. You can watch individual highlights. I will watch every possession of Anthony Edwards. I'm not watching the Minnesota Timberwolves. I'm so, so sorry. But anyways, like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you, man, in a bit. Boom.